All right, folks, here's another edition of the Low Tech Redneck Beer Bong Edition. Uh, everyone knows how difficult it is to get a mule filled with coolant without getting any air bubbles in the system, and it's, a, it, it's somewhat of a struggle. So here's my solution. Went to Menards, bought, uh, bought this fitting here. It's a T. Bought a bunch of hose clamps, yep. I took the pipe out that used to be here, the hose. Took that out. Put the T in its place, right? Then came off this like a little riser. I've got a 350 degree Fahrenheit temperature limit ball valve, right? So I can open and close this and bleed it. And then I've got this clear tube that goes up to a funnel at the top. So I filled this with antifreeze, right? This is how I filled the whole system. I filled the radiator and all the hoses and tubes all from this. That way it pushes all of the air out. That's higher than the radiator. So as I filled this up with the radiator cap off, I waited until the uh, fluid was coming out, the coolant was coming out of the top of the radiator. Then I put the cap back on and then filled it all the way up until fluid was coming all the way back out through that bleeder right there, right? I also took the hoses off the top of the carburetor, those two, until I was getting coolant to come out of those as well, and filled her up. I left this open until the temperature got uh, hot enough to open the thermostat over here, right? And the fluid just stayed in this clear tube. And then once the thermostat opened up, I bled this off, and as soon as I opened this thing, this just sucked all the fluid out of it. It was unbelievable how much more air was in the system. And I just kept, I just kept this full, right? And then uh, blood the system. Once everything was full, closed this, reattached those hoses, closed my ball valve, took this back off, and uh, worked like a dream. So if you're having trouble getting your mule to prime, maybe this is a solution. Good luck. Have a nice day.